for a bit of a ride. Obviously no snow out, so we got to ride a different kind of old piece of shit. And, uh, we'll have to ride the sidecar. Yeah, but we have, uh, we have some breaking news, don't we? We do. So we're going to have a, we're going to have an interview. Uh, you heard it here first. We're going to be talking to Mr. Alec Baldwin. He's been recently cast to play the lead in a, an upcoming movie about the Plystead Expedition. So, we got, uh, how did that work again? Your mom met him at the Flint Flon Airport when he was going to, going to film? She did. Uh, my mom has a store at the airport, and Alec Baldwin came through with the production Very courteous. He was uh, interested in snowmobiles and he said it would be alright if we gave him a call to talk about his new movie. Oh man, so excited. I'm going to ask him about Tina Fey. <laughs> alright, stay tuned. Gene, what is the Plystead Expedition? You know your history better than I do. <laughs> I, I, really, I really don't. Uh, I think it's just a bunch of uh, yokels that headed up to... They are heading to the North Pole. Is that right? I, think. I don't want to get this confused with those guys that were on the, the motor skis heading to Russia. Those are two different things, There's right? There's been a couple of different ones. There were Scorpion guys that tried to go from Crosby... To Alaska. Actually, I don't think they tried. I'm sure those those guys made it. There was a Skidoo expedition, which I think this is the one. Okay. And yeah. Then there, was, I, then there was the motor ski guys that, that had made to the North Pole. Okay. No, I think they're trying to go to Russia, like a, you know, going across the North Pole to head up to Russia. I think I think I think Nolan's right. Wild Bill. Uh, what Wild was the name? Bill. Wild Bill. Not Hitchcock. Or, uh, uh, Wild Bill. Wild Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we should learn our history. It doesn't matter. I mean, we'll, we'll I, learn it when the movie comes out. I, yeah, but we should prep for this interview, shouldn't we? No one on the expedition had previous polar or exploration experience. You know what this means? We can, we have no experience. We can mount our own expedition, <laughs> <laughs> which I think we've done with the the Plunkett run of fun. Yeah. Um, which very nearly killed both of us or all three of us. Yeah. This, I think this was when men had had um, tougher spines. And I'm not talking about nerve. Like, actually being able to take that jarring on these bogeys. Oh, yeah. Literally up your back. Like, your suspension's mainly your seat and your spine. Yeah. Well, I guess. Like, these days, everybody's trying to grow longer beards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that makes you manlier. I feel like it doesn't. <laughs> I'll send a message and uh, we'll work out uh, when we're supposed to give him a call. Okay. All right? Can't wait. Okay. <laughs> Gritty out. Ready? Yeah. Bill is kind of a wild one. 
I think he had fantastic dreams about his future, although he never told them out loud. It was an attempt to go around the world by snowmobile. I didn't have a clue where the hell we were. We should have had our head examined, but we didn't. You mean the, the, the drug end of it? Yeah, and that was the 70s, you know. All right, um, we, uh, this is in a kind of an emergency call. You, you want to tell us what's happening? Well, I guess I have to, I'm late in phoning uh, Mr. Alec Baldwin. Yes, that's right. Alec Baldwin, famous movie star, is going to be in the upcoming uh, movie about the Plyset Expedition. So normally we, I don't think we'd phone too many celebrities. I mean, we're kind of big deals around town, but Alec Baldwin, that's a whole other whole other deal. And so, why are we calling right now? So like, we're, well, we were supposed to phone him an hour ago, but you didn't tell me that. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm, now I'm late. Listen, I, we're eating lunch. Yes, ramen noodles are more important than keeping appointments. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to phone him. He's going to give us a, an exclusive interview. <laughs> exclusive interview. All right. Okay. Stand by. It's ringing. I've never talked to anybody famous before. Uh, uh, Mr. Baldwin, uh, this is Gene Lundquist with the Snowflakes um, Don't Get Dave production crew. Uh, I, I do apologize for being late, but uh, just trying to connect with you for our phone interview. If you could please give me a call back at uh, your earliest convenience. I, I will try again. Thank you, sir. Okay, voicemail. And, okay. Well, I guess we try again later. Later, you excited. <laughs> Now. now, during Arctic Cat's Black Magic Sale, a factory incentive to the dealers means you could save hundreds of dollars. Now. And while supplies last, choose a free Swiss-made Zenith watch when you buy a new cat. Now. A special factory incentive to participating dealers means you could save hundreds of dollars on a cat and get a free watch worth up to $350 during Arctic Cat's Black Magic Sale. Now. Offer ends December 31st, 1979. So on the way home, I checked my email, and uh, we had a message from Alec Baldwin's assistant. Now, this was... Which makes more sense, because I left him a message asking him to phone me back, and I realized afterwards that it's a little presumptuous. <laughs> why, would, why would he phone me back? Uh, so, uh, this was uh, a couple hours ago, so if you, <laughs> if you want to call him back, please. Okay. It's ringing again. And voicemail. Did I leave him another message? Hi, uh, Mr. Baldwin. Uh, Gene Lundquist is calling again with uh, Don't Get Dave Productions. Uh, still trying to connect. Um, yeah, I will continue to try to reach you. Thank you, sir. I don't know. Can you get a bad vibe from a voicemail? I mean, the guy's probably got a busy schedule, right? Would assume so. I, I assume so too. Should um, we phone her? Maybe we should phone her. Uh, What's her number? I don't know what her number is. Uh, hold on. Um, Jean has gotten the assistant on the phone here, and apparently Mr. Baldwin is not very thrilled. Um, <laughs> uh, with us, with the full, whole phone tag situation. I can't imagine what he's talking to her about right now, other than maybe he's begging. Gene seems kind of upset. He, <laughs> there's a lot of, like, hand-waving. Uh, Mr. Baldwin, I know, is known for maybe losing his temper. Fix him! I want you to shut the f*** up! 
fucked up. I'm gonna get out of here. But, uh. Well? Easy to lift. Easy to start. It's the easy snowmobile. The compact a land from Skidoo. Easy to move, our lightest. Easy to own, our lowest priced. Fact is, Elan is not a toy. Its full-size track makes it the most exciting little performer on the snow. Skidoo Elan. When you look at all the facts, Skidoo has more going for you. He's everywhere. All right. Hey, oh, my phone's ringing. Uh, hello? 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 Hey, I want to tell you something, okay? Okay. Here in New York on a Wednesday. Yes, sir. I made an ass. An ass? Of myself trying to get to a phone. Uh, I understand that. that. I apologize. When the time comes for me to make the phone call, I stop whatever I'm doing. And I go and yes, I make that phone that sounds very at 11 o'clock in the morning in New it's, York. It's not and 11 o'clock. pick up the phone and you don't even have that goddamn phone okay. turned on. I'm tired of playing this I, game I am with too. <laughs> you have insulted I, me yes. for the last time. Okay, I insulted you. You have insulted me. Oh. Oh. You don't have the brains or the decency. As a human being, you have humiliated me for the last time with the phone. It would seem so, yeah. I'm going to fly out there for the day. Oh, you're coming? For the day? <laughs> what? On this issue, I'm going to let you know just how disappointed oh, you are. Oh, you're Now you're sounding like my mother. I am Sorry. But you've done this to me again. With your mom? Oh. You've made me feel like shit. And you made me feel like a fool over and over and over and over again. Uh, okay. And this crap you pull on me with this uh, goddamn phone situation. Like <laughs> you do it to me constantly and over no, I, and over I, I again. I am going to get on a plane uh, and I'm going to come out there for the day. And I'm going to straighten he's, your he's, ass he's out he's getting when I see you. Do you understand me? Team America. <laughs> I'm going to really make sure you get yes, it. Yes, sir. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to come home. So you better be ready Friday to meet with me. So I'm going to let you know just how I feel okay. about what a rude pig you really are. You are a rude, thoughtless pig, okay? <laughs> Bowman just called me a pig. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew that anyway. What? Well, if, 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 and he hung up. What? So, <laughs> what? But the good news is he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Hey, Alec Baldwin. Oh. Oh, coming boy. back he, to Canada. It's gonna be great. I is he I'm up? really torn about this because clearly he's coming to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest thing in our area for a while. Anyway, um, yeah, catch the what's the name of the movie? I don't know what it's called, but it's about the Plystead yeah. expedition. Okay, well, we'll the Plystead but, expedition slash Alec Baldwin kicks my ass. <laughs> it's coming soon to stay, a theater near Stay you. tuned. <laughs> and? Yeah. Uh, Gravy out. <laughs>